Hello everyone, my name is Eduardo and on this recording I'm going to give a quick overview uh, of the MCP server that I've built um, to allow working through uh, some tests. So for context, we are trying to migrate from Vue 2 to Vue 3, but a lot of our tests fail on Vue 3 because Vue 3 is not compatible, uh, they are not backwards compatible. so. I thought that it might be a good use case for AI uh, to be able to do this automatically. Um, so, what did I do? I created a uh, a MCP server that allows uh, Claude to first read a file, run the test on view two, run the test on view three, uh, reason about errors, and write the file again. So for example, let me show this case that we ha I have already run. I can ask Claude to fix this specific file. This specific, this file comes from this list of quarantine tests. And then it understands that it needs to read the file. Um, and it reads many files for, it reads the, the, the test file, but also the, the popover, uh, like the, the, the base component that it's testing, um, and a few others. I don't really know what everything he is uh, reading here. Um, and then he's, he, he tried to run the test, view three. He ran the test, view three, and he noticed that there's some problems with it. There's some errors uh, around here uh, that he needs to address. So now it, it goes and writes Things about it and writes the results to the uh, to the file, um, and tries to run the view three test again. It goes over and repeats the process until it's able to get a proper. But then, this is something that I added afterwards. Uh, it also tests with view two because I was noticing that it was suggesting changes that would make compatible with view three but would make it incompatible with Vue2. So, yeah, so it does both of them uh, and then writes the file. In the end, I ask the, I ask the, 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 uh, the, the AI to also remove this. So it did all of the like remove also the, from the, the quarantine list and you can see on my, on the MRs. Let me open the MRs. This is the MR. This is given the file I created the MR. So creating the MR was not automated. So we can see that it's now it now passed all the tests, even with the the quarantine spec are removed. Uh the, for the file removed from quarantine spec. And I'm not sure though if this implementation is correct. And this is why it's it is a nice use case because it still has to go through a code review. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm asking the, the maintainer if this is a desirable implementation of it makes sense to implement this way. Because I don't know if I like this uh, ES view three uh, type of syntax or if there's a better way. Um, so how does the server look like? We have a couple of, uh, this is a utility to run a process. Uh, I have a function, a tool that runs test on view three. It does yarn just and just pass with the environmental variables properly set. I had to manually set my yarn path and my node path. So for, for this to work well, properly and also the GitLab directory. Um, I also have a tool that runs the view two tests, which is very similar. And then a simple one that does the, the, the reads a GitLab file, a file from the GitLab uh, folder and writes to the GitLab folder. And this one removes from the path file. So in the beginning, I had, I didn't have this function uh, to remove it would, uh, so the agent would read, think, and write, which works, but it uses a lot of tokens and a lot of time for something very, very simple. So in this case, it, it's just better to have it 
like it's a lot cheaper. This is a very simple function that it doesn't make sense to delegate to the AI. So I just implemented this myself. Um, it has a prompt with the the that defines the task the the task to be done, and it also has a few examples. So what I did here, I pulled a bunch of diffs from MRs that already fixed a lot of the tasks in the past. And I use this MRs as input for, to the to the model um, so that it knows a little bit what to do. Uh, it guides it a little bit. Uh, the results of this, they are quite okay. So there is one MR that I have already merged uh, from this. So you can see the difference between, let me open up that MR. So you can see the difference between what the AI suggested and the final uh, merged MR. So for example, this one, let me open the last commit, which is this one. Is it? Uh, it's this one. So this one. So you can see that the, the, the AI suggested some stuff that was not necessary. And the AI suggested this syntax, which I don't like very much, and I prefer the, the, the general that we use. So, but there were minor problems with the suggestions. This works from, for some tasks, doesn't work for others, um, but it automates a lot of the process. I currently have two more MRs on this. It does require a little bit still of, of manual input in the sense that the tools don't execute by themselves. So I have to be looking at the, the UI to click on allow all the time. Um, it also requires, I have an automated creating the MR itself, but it could be something that would be added uh, to this uh, tools uh, toolkit. So also creating the MR, running uh, prettier and yes, lint to see if everything is fine. I ran into some, most of the time, it will not go through prettier for some reason or another. Another detail is that it tends, not in this MR, but if you look at uh, some of the other MRs that, uh, that I have for this, this one, for example, it really likes to add comments. I, I don't know if, I try to add to the prompt to not add comments because I don't think they are necessary. This is pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, I'll, I need to try. So as an evolution, I think Claude is really unstable with M uh, the MCP servers. If there's any failure or something, it just dies and you cannot restart. So you have to restart the app but some memory where the AI can write down its learnings and so that it can use later would be quite uh, nice uh, or that we can improve uh, ideas. Like the same way we added the diffs, I would like to uh, the AI itself to start putting their learning so that it's faster uh, down the road. And that's it. The code base is available. Uh, I'll link the code base and that's all. Thank you.